it is your boy truck coming from a place in the universe here at the king's table we talk about it live discussions that only men can have with no judgment ginger root tea positive vibes positive attitudes this is what we do here at the King's Table, we talk about it. One of the things that I like to say is this here. I'm starting to catch a little buzz here and there, especially in the social media department. And I want to give some shout outs. Shout outs to the Queen, Pink Book Lessons, for her delivery. And coming from a woman's standpoint on how to deliver truth, light to the truth, bringing light to the truth. My philosophy is all that I am, all that I know, all that I ever will be and more. O'Shea Duke Jackson, a king doing great things, much love and respect. Coach Greg Adams, another king, much love and respect. To a brother, I reached out to him and he reached back. The Noxus movie, go check it out. Brother's good. The things that he talk about on his platform, check him out. Let me spell it for you. N-O-X-I-O-U-S. Check him out. He's doing phenomenal things. Much love and respect. Certain people, my thing is this. When you bring light to the truth and you come real with your shit, there's a level of respect that will go a long way. I talk about, well, we'll be talking about a whole lot of things. I'm getting out the kinks. But one thing is for sure, I will be consistent getting some things worked out, some things sorted out here and there to build this brand, take it where it needs to go. Bringing back the masculine man. Putting the right pieces where it needs to go. Sharing knowledge with men to step up and step out. Take control, stand your ground. Take care of home, self first. Know your self-worth, know who you are. Walk in the essence, embrace your truth. Let the simps do what they do. But there is a difference. You have to draw the line and set your boundaries. Men, you have to start setting boundaries. If you don't start setting boundaries, it's over for you. Stop letting people pull you any which way. And you go in a direction in which they are pulling you in. You have to learn to say no. You have to learn to say no. These modern day women talk, let them talk they talk. Because look where it's gotten them. Nowhere. They're alone. 
high value man. You may want a high value man, but does that high value man want you? Another thing I'm going to start really touching on. My question, what do you have to bring to the table of a relationship, of a marriage, partnership? What do you have to bring to the table? What are you willing to bring to the table? And you better not say yourself, I am the table, because no, you're not. If you can't bring love, peace, stability, if we can't pray together, if we can't worship together, there's a problem. Well, I cook and I, and I clean. That's basic stuff. That's stuff you should already know how to do. It's common sense. Are you the type of person that I can count on to keep the house in order? Or do I have to do it by myself? See, these are those hard questions folk don't want to have, but they run from. Damn, let me sip some more tea on that one. Real talk. Having something to bring to the table. Doing your part, doing your fair share. Remember back in the days, Kings, where relationships were fun? We made ham sandwiches and, and bags of chips and two sodas, and we went and we chilled at the park and had a picnic and it was gravy, it was fun. We had a good time because we was in each other's presence. We was spending time. It didn't matter about status or what we had. Sometimes all you had was time. Sometimes all you had was each other, but you made it work. A lot of things we, we, we run from, most people run from, Accountability. Somebody should talk to my ex-wife about accountability. After watching the movie Acrimony, now I get it. But the thing I want to bring home is we got to know who we are, kings. And we got to bring light to the truth. There's a lot of brothers out there with, with, with platforms and they're bringing heat. And you got some sisters that are bringing heat. Saying, no women, this is not the way to behave. In order to have something that you never had but always wanted, you have to be willing to do something different. And if you are not willing to do something different, then keep that shit over there. There are too many good men out here. And another thing, big ups, big, big, big ups to all the stepfathers out there that are doing it big, that are stepping in, that are holding it down, that are going to work, that are taking care of children that aren't even here. I know, I was one of them. I took care of four children that wasn't even mine, but I love them all the same. Respect. Where's the biological father? Some people, some, some women, and I have to be clear when I say this, some women don't even recognize something good staring at them right in their face. Don't ask for a good man if you never had one. Because if you had a good man, you'll know how to keep him. 
you'll be ready for. Once again, there's a lot of stepfathers out there that don't get the credit that they deserve. There's a lot of biological fathers out there that don't get the credit that they deserve either. And they're hardworking. They're doing things. They're handling their handle. So as we continue to move on, I will continue to impact and add to what's already being put out there on a male platform, on a male stratosphere to empower men and share, even if it's sharing my own experiences. <laughs> Until then, Shalom.